taking a few more breaths in your child's pose. For those of you that are in a down dog already, just enjoying some movement. We're gonna be in down dog for about 30 seconds, so just stretching out your body. We're gonna use the wall today. So if you need to pause the video and maybe bring your mat aligned to the wall lengthwise, we're gonna try our best to come into the next stretch using the support of the wall. So taking about three more breaths in this down dog stretch, really breathing into the front palate of your chest, allowing the ribs to expand up and out. And then slowly start to tiptoe the feet toward the middle and then taking your palms toward the feet. Plant the palms into your shins. Inhale a flat spine. Exhale, deepen your set in a forward fold and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae to a stand. Inhale the arms forward and up, taking your palms to prayer in front of the heart. Do that again, bounce to the knees, inhale the arms forward and up. Palms to the prayer in front of the heart. Slowly twist your body so you're lengthwise on your mat. You're going to walk the heels a little further out so the feet are more than hips width. Okay, and play around as many times as you need to. Maybe you need to walk your feet forward, maybe you need to walk them back, but the idea is you're moving from the crease of the hips and then you want the wall to support the buttocks, the sit bones. Okay. From here, maybe if you have blocks, you could place them in reaching distance underneath your palms. But we're gonna be hanging out in this forward fold for a little bit of time, okay? So once you've set it up, you're just allowing the upper body to come forward. You could keep the palms on the blocks, maybe even the backs of the forearms. And then you're just gonna allow the head to really hang, crown of the head parallel to the mat. The toes are facing straight and the heels are aligned. Okay, so the feet are parallel to one another. Try to keep the eye line past the inner thighs so the back nape of the neck is able to lengthen. Taking about three breaths here. Perch up onto the fingertips or the blocks. Inhale a flat spine and then take the toes and pigeon them toward one another, okay? Inhale, lengthen through the spine again, coming back into that same forward fold. Now, if this is a lot through the IT band, you could always come to level two or level three height with your props. And then just allow yourself to feel supported as you're hinging forward from the crease of the hips. Now, even though the toes now are a little bit more angled toward one another, try to soften your toes as best as you can. So you're not gripping the mat. Majority of the weight is on the outsteps of your feet. The wall is right there, okay? So you could always rest the sit bones. You want this pose to be passive. Try to straighten out through the knees. If need be, you could always take a micro bend. But with time, as your body opens up and gains flexibility, Anytime you come back to this video, you're just continuing to deepen the stretches more and more. Take a couple more breaths. Good, once again, perch up onto the fingertips, flat back inhale. Now take the toes out, heels in. Inhale to re-lengthen through the spine. Try to do your best to come into a flat back forward fold. Listen to your body if you're willing and if you're able to come down a level of height and then relax your head again. Crown of the head is parallel to the mat. Breathing right in between your shoulders, breathing right into your back body for the last few.
Good. Palms to the blocks or prop them onto the floor. Inhale, flat back. Take the feet again to face the top lining of your mat. And you're going to take the right toes to face out. From there, walk your palms toward the right side. And then exhale, try to forward fold over that right leg. Okay? There could be a micro bend in through the right knee. Once again, your wall is there to support you. Relax your head. Try to take a few more breaths. Perch up onto the fingertips, flat back. Walk your palms over toward the left. So right toes come to a neutral, facing to the top corner of the mat, the side of the mat. Left toes are now on your angle. Walk over top of that left leg, flat back on an inhale, and then as best as you can, coming into a forward fold. Breathing right into the back of the body. With time, do your best to straighten out through the left leg. Breathe into those areas of the body that feel a little tight. Try to relax the back nape of the neck. Good, perch up onto the fingertips. Flat back on an inhale, walk your palms to the center. Take the toes both to gently face out on an angle. Shake out your head a little bit. Now you can use a block under the palms or you can use the floor. You're going to take the left palm directly underneath that left shoulder, more so in the middle of the mat. And then you're going to take the right arm up. Again, your wall is there if you need it. Now you can either hold here or try to take the right arm behind the back. And then try to bind it so the palm is holding on to your left thigh. Continuing to deepen your twist with each exhale, twisting right from the pit of the stomach. Taking just a few more breaths. Good, reaching that right arm back up if you found your bind. Slowly release the right palm down. Forward fold, exhale, two breaths. Perch up onto the fingertips. Inhale, flat back, right palm down center. Let's take the left arm up toward the ceiling. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist. Can the left arm come behind the back? Maybe you can grab a hold of your right thigh and then just continue to twist right from the belly button. Soften through your toes, lengthening through the front of the chest. You're twisting right from the midline. Take your final two breaths. Reaching that left arm back up to the ceiling. Forward fold, exhale, letting it go. Try to hold on toward both sides of the feet. If you can't hold on to the ankles, you're holding on maybe to the calves or toward the thighs. Now, if this is enough, you could just hang here and use the strength of the arms to pull the upper body forward. If you want a little more, Interlace the fingers behind the back, the opposite grip, so it feels a little funny. And then interlaced fingers reaching toward the ceiling. Allow gravity to do the work. Eyes are looking past your inner thighs. You're here for about 10 breaths. At any point during this time, you could always change the posture if it becomes too much. 
you've got the wall there for support. Final two breaths. Before planting the palms just underneath the shoulders, maybe on the floor on your um, blocks. Flat back on an inhale. Take the heels in, toes out, and then coming into like a footballer stance. While you're here, shaking out the head from side to side, nod the head up and down. And we're just gonna finish the work that we've done by stepping the right leg out, reaching your left heel up, and you're just coming into a side stretch here. Taking a couple breaths before you switch. Bring the weight on toward that left heel. You can keep the hands reaching forward if it's more comfortable. Maybe even plant the foot down. Take a few more of those, so switch. Okay, your props are there if you need it. Switch. Taking a couple more just at your own pace as your body wants to move. And then slowly making your way toward the top of the mat, hovering over top of the left leg. High plank into that down dog stretch, waiting for your next add-on from here or maybe from a child's pose. Mm -hmm. 